Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel for yet another Ninjago Season 12 video. We're not talking about the set side of things, but actually the show and the plot of the story. And it actually seems like on a Dutch website we've gotten the plot for Season 12. So this was found earlier in the morning, and here's basically what the website had had. And when we translate it, here's what it says in English. Animated series about ninjas with special powers that protect the Ninjago country against evil. Suddenly, the old legendary video game Prime Empire, and this name was revealed by Ninja Whip a few days ago, pops up again. The players who play the game disappear in an enigmatic way. The ninjas have to solve the mystery. They enter a dangerous digital world ruled by the mysterious villain Unagami Unagami, I don't know. So my initial reaction to this, it sounds decent, it's not the best ever, but I think my main issue with it is when you think of ninja, this is absolutely not what you think of. You don't think of the ninja going into a video game. This doesn't exactly scream ninja to you, but it sounds pretty cool. This season basically seems like rebooted 2.0, which is why I'm using season 3 images in today's video, and I'm not sure whether that'll be a good thing or a bad thing. Rebooted was a pretty lame season, but I feel like one of the reasons it suffered was because it didn't really do much with the Digiverse, and that was something that's very cool, but if you have the ninja traveling the video game, that'll be pretty awesome. Season 12, like Season 3, does have a futuristic setting, presumably, but with a greater focus on gaming as confirmed through the description. And basically, of the ninja are entering this video game called Prime Empire, and it looks like the city's been playing this game itself, but some mysterious stuff has been happening. Basically, the people who are playing this game are disappearing, and they've basically vanished. So it is the ninja's duty to go and find out what exactly happened to them, and they'll be going into the video game, but then you also have the last sentence that says that they will be entering a dangerous digital world ruled by the villain Unagami. My guess is that this Unagami guy is the person that I put on the thumbnail, that leaked head which is in black with the red eyes and the blue details. I am guessing that that is the main villain for the season. As for what this mysterious digital world is, well, I sure hope that it is the Digiverse. Some people have speculated that it could be returning for the season, and I sure hope again that it is, because the Digiverse was really underused in Season 3. One of the big flaws is that it had this awesome concept of the Digiverse and barely used it. But even if it's not the Digiverse, we do know that basically the ninja will be entering some form of the digital world like they did in Season 3, which I think is pretty cool. And then earlier in the description, it states that this video game Prime Empire was an old game that is returning again. So this definitely seems like an area to add some sort of backstory to it. I think it would be pretty cool if the backstory is somehow connected to Season 3 and the building of New Ninjago City with the expansion of the Digiverse and all these video games and stuff. And after Season 3, other than Zane's death, there really weren't any big impacts of the tech technology phase, which is a huge problem with the season. This futuristic tone just comes and goes as it pleases and doesn't leave any impact. So I think this would be a great way to tie it back to older Ninjago events while also making it more believable that this technology did have some sort of impact from season three. So it looks like whatever this game Prime Empire is, is some old game that is returning to culture again. So that's definitely an area to add some backstory to who exactly created the game and what kind of impact it may have had on the community the last time that it was popular. Then the description reveals that whoever plays this game basically vanishes, and that seems to be the main conflict for this season. I'm guessing that this video game, whatever this villain's plan is, is somehow connected to this video game to capture these people for whatever reason that will be explained in the season. So then the ninja will have to enter this digital world in order to find out what exactly happened to these people and solve that mystery, and then they'll be fighting these foes and stuff, encounter maybe other allies who are trapped in the video game, and fight Unagami or whatever he is. So yeah, I mean, I think that's basically going to be the main synopsis of this story. In some areas, it does seem like a better version of Rebooted in the sense that it's going to be focusing more on the digital side of stuff rather than just having these technology stuff for the sake of plot convenience. But at the same time, a gaming season sounds really stupid on paper, so this could be a pretty childish season. I'm also a bit concerned that the ninja might be in the Digiverse for the majority of the season. I don't want them just to be in the digital world because I'm also concerned that this could open the gateway to more filler. And with the ninja being in this video game, then you could have them playing different games and fighting bosses and stuff, and I don't want a repeat of Season 11. And I guess another issue that I mentioned earlier in the video was that this doesn't really feel like Ninjago. When you say the word ninja, you're not going to think of video game addicts disappearing because they were playing a game. Although in the past seasons, Ninjago has stuck to more traditional stuff like the Oni and the Dragon Hunters and stuff like that. So I guess taking a risk isn't too bad since Ninjago hasn't done something like this in a while. But I'll be doing more videos on this sometime soon. I'll get up an early predictions video about the season. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone, everyone you know. Let me know what you guys think of this plot, and I will see you next time.